Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome from the south coast of England. This is the scene here in Brighton. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Brighton and Hove Albion, and they take on Southampton. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game, and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Number 2, Tariq Lamptey. Number 11, Leandro. Trussard, number 14, Alan Lallana, and number 9, Neil Morphe. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation, with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Here's how it looks for Southampton. James Ward-Prowse starts with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Thank you for attending today's game at the Amex Stadium. Enjoy the match. And now they get the ball rolling. Trossard. Cucurella. On to Gross. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. In and around. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Playing with purpose and control. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Lalana. A fine reading of the situation. Gross. Intercepting it intelligently. Moving it forward. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Not the pass he had in mind. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. I've got to say, he landed really heavily on his shoulder there and looks like he's in severe pain. But he looks less concerned than the bench who are worried about him. I think he'll stay on. Cheers, Jeff. And the keeper more than equal to it. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, a tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. Not problematic for the keeper. Lalana.
Pascal Groß. Getting the better of his opponent. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Lalana. Now with Gross. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Ward Prowse. It's opening up for them. Well, he's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. Delivered into the box. It's got to be! Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Who can he pick out? Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Or Prowse. Happy to take on the shot. Nicely saved. Pascal Gross. Well, the stats confirm Brighton's control of the ball. But unless they start passing it with more penetration... Oh, Stewart's a chance! Well, high and more than a bit hopeful. Ward Prowse. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. And so it is. The first half story has been written. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Pascal Gross. Now, Lalana might be able to set up the chance. High quality defending. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Losing possession here. Able to get a body in the way. Che Adams. Oh, he's really up on the up here. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, but I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Goal for 
And back underway, 1-0 it is. Lalana. Excellent challenge. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Oh, a nice looking pass. Well, fantastic reflex action. Now, from close range, not ideal. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Well, it's been difficult for Southampton to get too much of the ball, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, They've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Possession given away, unfortunately. Trossard. Mopé. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Alzace. Mope. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Can you please remain seated after the game and your coach will meet you at the table? Bednarek. Jay Adams. The ball with James Ward Prowse. And close but offside nonetheless. Time for the change now. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Really good interception. Jay Adams. Into the advanced position. Can he finish? And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Goal for well, a second goal for them here. James Pascal Gross. A foul, but advantage played. Enoch Mwepu. Mope. And they produce the arrears. You never know. They still believe in themselves. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Goal 
Well, two one it is here. Number nine, Neil Morphe. Jay Adams. He takes aim. Simple catch, really. Well, the fans are certainly playing their part here. Just listen to this noise. Neil Mopé. Well, they might be onto something. My goodness, the importance of get. And there goes the final whistle. Not to be for Brighton in terms of the result. Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on, and it's cost them dearly. They'll need to get over that quickly. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?